Hi everyone, I'm sorry it's been so long since I did a video, but a lot of things have been going on. You could probably tell, I didn't I didn't exactly say, but I was kind of depressed for a while, um, feeling a bit listless and alone, and I didn't really know what my purpose was. And then my parents went away for four days on like a counseling retreat, and I stayed with my best friend, who I've known for eight years. And we didn't talk about how I was feeling at all, but when I came back I just felt a lot better and I feel a lot more alive now. And um, everyone in my family is really getting along better now. Um, and I think it's because we're really attempting to incorporate God into our lives. I also, I'm getting along better with my mom because the night we got back, they got back, I had a dream about her that she was dying and for the first time in probably several years, I actually felt like I really loved her. And so, um, I've been a lot more affectionate with her now, and after hearing a sermon in church last Sunday, um, I apologize to her for all the pain that I've caused her in the past couple years. So we're getting along a lot better now. Um, and I'm feeling better too because I've been trying to stay out of the house and not sit at the computer as much. Um, so I've been walking the dogs every day and running. I've started running every day again, which I enjoy a lot. I'm excited because I got some books on CD out of the library. Hope was here. And Harry Potter 5, Golden Compass, View from Saturday, and Small Steps, which is a sequel to Holes, if any of you guys know that book. They're all really good books. I've read them all at least once, um, but I like to listen to stuff that I've already read on CD. Um, I have a couple of the Harry Potter books and all the Narnia books. Um, and I'm also excited because my mom got me a planner because I've been really busy lately doing horses and babysitting, and I'm going to be busy when college starts up because I'll be driving probably in a month or so I'll get my license, which I'm kind of nervous and excited about at the same time, so wish me luck on my driver's test. Um, I hope that everything goes well, but I will be pretty busy next year, and I'm kind of excited for the classes and stuff I'm going to be taking, but yeah, she got me a planner, so it's really cool. It's got, I, I won't show you through it because I don't have time, but it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. There's a YouTuber um, who's name is Incantatious Violet, that's her username, and she's a really cool girl. I watched a couple of her videos, um, and she's very artistic, and when she talks you can really tell she's speaking from her heart. Um, so I really encourage you guys to watch a couple of her videos and give her your support because she's really, she seems like she's struggling right now. Um, because she's dealing with, she has a, a medical disorder, um, so she's kind of having to deal with that, and she's, I could really relate to her when I was feeling depressed. Obviously, I'm feeling better now, but, um, yeah, check her out, and please give her your support. Last thing I wanted to say was that, um, a couple days ago, my parents decided to do a trial for this thing called Safe Eyes, which is one of those filters that allows parents to um, regulate how much time um, their children, kids are spending on the internet and what sites they go to, and it keeps a history. So um, it's very probable that my parents will be finding out that I have a YouTube account soon. Um, which may result in the fact that I may not be able to make videos anymore. Um, but if there is a possibility that they may still let me do it. They haven't found out yet, and I'm just kind of waiting. I may want to talk to them about it. Um, I had, even before the safe eyes came up, I had been thinking about... Um, talking to them about my YouTube account and what I've been doing, my vlogs and stuff. Um, but then the Safe Eyes thing came up and I've sort of waited to see what's going to happen with that. So I'm just kind of going to wait for a while, I think, and see how things turn out. And Mom and Dad, if you're watching this, um, 
I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you about this, and I know it won't help our bond of trust, but, um, I really do apologize. The only reason I didn't tell you was because I was scared that you wouldn't let me do it anymore, and I'm not doing anything suspicious or sketchy, and I hope you'll agree, and I hope that we can talk about this, and maybe you guys will let me keep doing this. And I do have proof that I was thinking about telling you even before the safe ice thing occurred, because I have a video that I haven't posted. Um, about me thinking about that. Um, so, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So, no, it doesn't. I have more to say. Um, that video that I haven't made, the second part to my one where I look bald because I have a bun, um, if my parents do find out about my YouTube account and decide to let me do it, I will probably end up doing that video soon after because then I can have my dad help me film it which would be really cool um because he's really good with technology but otherwise you know we'll just have to see what happens um and I apologize to all my new subscribers thank you and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to say thank you individually which I try to do but I've been way too busy recently um but I really appreciate it I love you guys all and hopefully I'll have a new video up soon. I'm probably going to try and post a response to Charlie is so cool likes newest videos. So yeah, love you guys and thanks for bearing with me.